Hi everyone, Bot Chasers here. Today we're taking a look at the oversized masterpiece Grimlock Reximus Prime. Now this is a KO figure, but there's nothing KO about it really. Uh, it's a beautiful piece, awesome quality. It's fantastic, and I would say better than the original Takara version. It's a huge figure. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the details, but you can see here I've got him uh, outfitted with his gun as well as his sword accessory. Uh, he does come with a couple other accessories. For example, his uh, Optimus Prime or Reximus Prime a mask right there. And he does have a couple of different crowns here. I'm not too into these accessories here. Um, so I don't put them on him, but let's take a look at the figure in general and uh, we'll show you him compared to some other masterpiece figures to begin with so you can see the size. Okay, this is one comparison that everyone wants to see and this is with the fans toys, Iron Diebots. So we've got Scoria here on the left, we've got Sever here on the right and Reximus Prime in the middle. Excellent scale in my opinion. They look fantastic. Now Reximus does have the painted uh, accents here. His entire body is silver painted whereas the fan toys are just gray plastic. So if you want them all to uh, match you should probably go with the X versions of the fans toys Iron Diebots. And here's another comparison just to show you against some Masterpiece figures. We've got Masterpiece Hot Rodimus on the left and a gold KO sideswipe on the right. Okay, last comparison here in bot mode. You know I have to do it. Reximus Prime next to his G1 counterpart, Grimlock. So a really well uh, represented version of the two figures. I love it. Okay, let's look at some of the articulation of Reximus. His head swivels right left on a ball joint, looks pretty high up, and doesn't look too far down. So some good head articulation there. His shoulders are on a ball joint, so they do rotate. They can get that about that far out and that far in. He does have a double hinged elbow with a ratchet at the upper section and no ratchet at the bottom. He can also swivel his arm out. His hand uh, does have one index finger movement here and then the rest of his fingers are all connected. His thumb is stationary on his left hand. Now on his right hand it's totally uh, locked. So there's no movement of the fingers. He does have a ball jointed thumb for some reason. So he does have that. He is set up to hold his uh, gun or his um, sword in there and it is uh, stationary hand because we do have a light up feature here. Let's take a look at his waist. He does have slight rotation on his waist, not too much movement there. His hips can swivel to uh, the side there. They can go forward and backward. Pretty good. And then his knee is ratcheted as well. Some pretty strong ratchets on his knees. And they go that far forward. And let's look at his feet. They do have a, a slight fore aft, not too much on those. And then his uh, feet do have a side to side pivot there. So we can get into some pretty good stances here. One last thing with articulation, he does have uh, ratcheted wings on the back here. So you can fold those as far as you want open. Make sure his backpack is set there. I do want to show you one other gimmick that Reximus has, and this is straight from the official Takara Grimlock masterpiece figure. But on the back of his head, he's got this little lever here. If you switch th this down, he can change from cartoon to uh, his toy accuracy there on his visor. So this is the cartoon version and then you slide it up and you get his toy version. So a nice gimmick there. With such good articulation you can get Reximus Prime into some fantastic poses. Okay, let's get into transformation of Reximus into his dino mode. First thing we want to do is spread apart his legs here. 
And uh, on the inner side of his legs, we're going to flip this up, rotate it around. And now we're going to swing this back. This entire piece comes back and extend it out here. Now this section of his tail, uh, I have a hard time getting this out. So we're going to use a little tool to get that out. Okay, I used a little tool to just reach in there and grab this little section. So you want to rotate that out. You can see his tail now getting formed. I'm going to move his arms all the way up here. One other thing we want to make sure is that his hips here are fully extended downward. So these sections here need to make sure they're down all the way so that all of this can fit over it. So we'll make sure that's all down. Now we're going to rotate the entire leg piece around here. Do that on both sides. Make sure he's properly positioned here. And you can see that his legs are now starting to close up. So we've got this. We'll just flip them around here. Make sure all the pieces are lined up. And they can actually snap in together. So there's some little pins here on the inside. You see those here? And there's corresponding holes there on the inside of the other side of the leg. Make sure everything's lining up properly on the bottom. And uh, actually, let's turn him over here. Let's get his tail together here, down here. Snap that into place. Now we'll squeeze his legs together, make sure that's all positioned properly. It's looking okay on the bottom here. Okay, there. There we go. So that all came together nicely to form his tail. Now, as we were transforming his lower half, his upper half, you could see, came apart here. That's good because we want to slide that entire piece down, his chest piece down, to close out this section down here. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got that entire section down here. Now we can just leave his head there, and we want to close these wing pieces. So let's do that. We have to lift them slightly just to get them over his shoulders. So make sure his shoulders are in a down position. Just lift that slightly to get it over there. And on the side here, we want to make sure that this little uh, hole in the side is lined up properly with this chrome. So let's make sure we get the chrome all compressed properly. That will fit over there. You see that chrome piece now showing through up here, right there. So we know we got that. And then on this side, we'll make sure that we get it in there. Okay, very good. So now we can close the chest up. Before we do that though, we want to make sure that this head piece uh, is rotated around and it fits through this little section right up top here. So we won't close that just yet. We'll make sure his head comes around. Slide that in there. Now we can close his chest up there properly and rotate his head. Let's come back to the back here because I looked, looked like this was kind of coming apart a little bit with his tail. But now it looks like it's properly positioned. There we go. All right, great. So we got everything done here. We'll keep, oh, you know what? One thing I did forget to do actually was put his hands back in. So we'll open up these panels on the side here. We'll rotate his hand in quickly there. Make sure his fingers are all compressed. Rotate his hand in. There we go. Close that up. We'll do the same thing on this side. Rotate that, close it up. Set down Reximus in his Dinobot mode. Extend out his legs there. And we're gonna just adjust the camera a little bit here. And he does have these pivoting uh, arms on these ball joints. Make sure that we get those to the front so he looks like a proper T-Rex. Open his mouth there. And there we go. Reximus Prime in his Dinobot mode. Just zoom back here. There we are.
So now that we've got Reximus in his Dinobot mode, let's look at some of the articulation. His head is on a swivel here. It can go 360 degrees. He does have a ratcheted jaw. So you can get a couple different positions there. Inside his mouth, there's this blaster cannon or the flamethrower. And his head does move up and down. Just two clicks right there. His arms are on a ball joint, so they go up and down. They can go forward and backwards. His elbow can go 180 degrees there. And each of these fingers is on its own hinge. So you can position these little fingers however you like. As far as his legs go, he does have that same ball joint that was in there when, he had his, when this was his shoulder. So that can rotate up and down all around like that. He does still have the what was his elbow, which is now his knee pivot, can go that far back and that far forward. And we do have this swivel here, which actually turns out to be a nice feature in his dino bot mode because we can get some good wide stances there. And his toes are on a swivel too. They're super tight though. These are die cast metal, but you can swivel those up and down. His tail does swivel back and forth this amount. Not too much up and down or else you start getting into the transformation of the tail. But I like to position Reximus uh, almost in a leaning forward position with his mouth open, getting ready to attack. I do want to take a look at some of the beauty that is this figure. Uh, He's got fantastic details. I mean, look at these painted sections here on his sides. All this riveting work going throughout. His jetpacks look beautiful. Uh, look at that detail. It really is amazing. And, of course, the silver metallic paint just makes all that stand out. On his uh, tail here, he's got fantastic translucent uh, plastic overlays in here, a painted blue sections here and gold sections here. His neck is also translucent with all these beautiful uh, details on the inside there. The chrome looks good too. Uh, his teeth are all chromed out. And he's got this nice blue silver metallic uh, paint on his arms. And on his belly here, this chrome all looks fantastic. There's a couple chromed out die cast pieces here on his shoulders too. In dino mode, one other gimmick that I did want to show you was how to switch these eyes from uh, his G1 toy to the cartoon. So we'll get in here. He's actually going to flip his head up that way. On the inside of his head, he has this little eye section here that you can rotate around. What you want to do is just pull that out and flip it around. And now Reximus has his cartoon accurate eyes. Okay, we've got Reximus here now with Scoria uh, in their Dinobot modes. Very nice uh, scale here, in my opinion. I really love how this works. And for another Masterpiece figure comparison, let's bring in Sideswipe. That's a huge dinosaur. I love it. Lastly, let's look at Reximus with his G1 counterpart, Grimlock. I love this representation of Grimlock. This is my f one of my favorite toys in my collection, Reximus Prime. Uh, thank you for watching this review, and if you have any comments, leave them below this video. And please subscribe so we can continue making videos like this.